Say good morning. Say good morning. Baby, my baby. You hungry? Hello everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to a new vlog. It is currently 5.26 a.m. Oh, you waking up, girl? It is 5.26 a.m. Um, I was just sitting outside. I'm trying to get into this routine of sitting outside in the morning. Something about that is just good for the mental health and good for starting my morning off right, I feel, because it's i can hear the birds chirping i'm like you know how they say it's good for you to be exposed to daylight when you first wake up for your circadian rhythm i don't know i just feel like i don't know i just feel nice when i sit out there in the morning so i've been doing that but it has just been so so cold lately uh like nine degrees overnight so it's freezing out there right now oh she's not happy but i might have to feed her early olive has to wait um until an hour after she's had her pill, but Cadence doesn't like waiting, so I might have to feed her before I feed Olive. Yeah, girl? Oh, yeah, you tell him, girl. You tell him. Okay, she's eating now, and Olive is looking at me like, what the heck? But the thing with Cadence is that she, she'll literally get sick. She has a really sensitive stomach, so if she wakes up in the morning and she's hungry she needs to eat like right away she's a very um a very specific woman anyways um i was just hopping on here to start the vlog off and to say good morning i have been in my 5 a.m routine for like five days now which feels really good i know i always go back to like saying this <laughs> and then i'll fall out of my 5 a.m routine it's just really hard like when i live on my own it's so easy for me to do that but it's really hard for me um when there's someone else in the house because obviously i can't control other people's schedules and when other people are up late and especially when weekends come like that's usually when i end up not being able to get up at 5 a.m but i did it this weekend and it was great i just feel like it gives me a chance to just breathe in the morning and like figure out my day uh extra time to like do anything i want do anything i want to do either for me like sometimes i'll read a little bit in the morning or sometimes i have something to catch up on or just start my day early and feel really ahead of things so either way it feels really great and um yeah that's kind of what's been going on with me the past few days in the mornings um, I've been really into using my planner again, so I've just written down everything that I want to get done today, mostly work stuff. Um, I have a couple videos to film, sponsorship that I need to do. I also need to hopefully get groceries later on today. I need to do some stuff 
in the garden, which I don't even, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to do that. Um, yeah, it's just, I kind of feel like I have too much on my to-do list today. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to pressure myself too much. It's just going to be whatever I get done, I get done, I guess. I mean, the work stuff needs to be done, but then the other stuff on top of that, like the groceries, I want to go for a WALK. I want to do some stuff in the garden. Um, I also have to pack up a plant trade today um, and just have like some plant stuff to do, but I might end up filming that for my main channel. I, I think I might do like a plant chores video today. That's my plan for one of the videos that I'm filming. So hopefully that's gonna combine some of the plant stuff I need to get done. And then I, I can also check off um, filming a video for my main channel. So yeah, that is my plans for this Monday. Happy Wednesday. It is currently 1246 and I didn't check in with you yesterday because I was just filming for my main channel, busy doing work stuff, I guess. Uh, not I guess, that's literally what I was doing all day yesterday. Yesterday was also a very special day because it is the release day of Middle of the Night by Riley Sager, which is my most anticipated read of this year. Do I have it yet? No. For some reason, my pre-order says it's not going to be here for another week, um, but that's a whole other story. We'll talk about that later. Anyways, happy middle of the night release. I'm so freaking excited. Let me know if you've read it. No spoilers though, of course. It's actually sunny today, which feels like a miracle. And some of the plants in my garden are hanging on by a thread of life, I swear, because it's been like winter temperatures here, but the sun is finally out. I actually got to go out and water my garden this morning, which y'all would have saw. So it was really nice uh, to be able to do that because it's just been cold and wet and I haven't even been watering that much which is crazy i mean it's kind of nice because it's something that's taken off of my to-do list but it is just enjoyable to go out there and see the plants of course um so watered the garden this morning and then i've just been editing for pretty much the whole morning 
Uh, then I had a shower. I washed my hair today, so it's just air drying and looking kind of crazy. I'm actually gonna braid it um, once it dries just a little bit more. I've been doing that lately, just putting it in French braids and then I'll take it out tomorrow morning because I'm not really doing anything today. Like I'm not, yeah, I, I just, I don't care if my hair is just like whatever today. So I'm basically just in getting stuff done mode right now. My house is a huge mess. Like it's bad, you guys, look at this. There's stuff everywhere, all over the counter. The whole dining room table is covered with plant stuff that I need to clean up. Um, everything's messy. Bedroom is messy, office is messy. I don't even use the office, but my plant supplies are stored in there and I've like pulled a bunch of stuff out from the closet. So I need to go tidy up in there. And um, yeah, it's feeling a little bit chaotic in here, which you know, I don't love. I definitely struggle when my space is feeling this way. So I'm just gonna take, oh my, oh my gosh, you guys, there's babies. Can you guys see them? Can you see them? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. There's, oh, oh, he spooked. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh, has he got the zoomies? Baby. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's still zoomed in. Oh, it's still zooming around out there. Okay, sorry. I'm literally screaming into the microphone. <gasps> Stop it. They're playing. They're playing. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I need to get my phone. It's gonna take a better video, I think. Um, okay, that is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. The babies prancing around. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, I love them so much. They don't really come into our yard. That was in the next property. They don't really come into our yard as much anymore since we put the fence up, even though literally only one side of our yard is fenced. It's still just... I think it's hard for them, like the way the trees are in the back, I think it's just hard for them to come into the yard, which obviously is good because of my garden and because I, I do have a deer fence around my garden, but it's not very like, it's just very DIY. I mean, so far it's working and I don't really see them in our yard a lot, but I, I like, I love them so much. I wish that they could just, I wish that they were still in the yard, even though I know that that would just cause problems, but you know what I mean? They're very, very sweet to see. That was just the best. I'm glad that I was filming when that happened. Anyways, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think I'm just telling you about my dirty freaking house that I need to get together. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this afternoon. Um, later today, I think I'm going to go get groceries. That needs to be done. I know, I think I said I was gonna do that on Monday and then I didn't go. So I'm gonna go tonight. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on and um, say hello, let y'all know what's up with me today. And um, oh, I'm gonna paint my nails later. So maybe we'll do that. Have a little cozy hour later tonight. Anyways, see you. Okay, hello. The hair is braided. My house is mostly clean and we're going to get groceries. Do I feel like going out and getting groceries right now? Not particularly, but I know that I'm f gonna feel good once it's done. I also just spent an hour in the backyard. Um, I still have like a quarter of the garden area to 
lay wood chips down. There's just nothing there. There's no garden beds or anything. I'm very tempted to order another garden bed, but I feel like I just shouldn't do that because I already have so much to do. Um, but yeah, moved some more of the wood chips and we had to cut some grass and yeah, just yard work kind of stuff. I'm very sweaty from that. It's so hot in our backyard. It's crazy. It's not even that hot right now. It's probably like 18 degrees or something. And it was like, I felt unwell. I was so hot, especially when there's no breeze. There's no shade, nothing. It's just like pure sun. And I feel like, cause we have the hedge in the back and then we put up the big fence and then there's just like houses and blackberry bushes on the other side. And then the other side is our house. Like it's just it, this like this enclosed space that just, it's like a dome of heat, it feels like. It's so crazy how hot it gets. Um, so it's going to be interesting with the garden in the summer once we actually have summer temperatures and heat waves and stuff. Anyways, I'm going to head to the grocery store. I have quite a bit of stuff that I need to get. And then I'm going to come home, put it all away. I have a little bit of work that I need to wrap up. I have some packages that I've been wanting to open with you. I don't know if I'll be able to do that tonight. Maybe tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll do like a coffee, morning coffee and opening packages. So that sounds kind of fun. Maybe we should do that. Okay, hello. I've made it to walmart actually i am trying to get some deals so i've never come to walmart for groceries before but i'm gonna see what i can get in here because when we went away for a weekend last month we stopped at walmart um to grab just some like quick easy stuff to eat while we were away and we noticed that the granola bars that we get were literally like half the cost and i'm sure a lot of the other stuff that we got but those i remember just stood out to us like we're like what the heck? Are we getting freaking scammed at the other grocery stores? So I'm going to see what I can get here. Um, and then I'll go probably to another grocery store as well. But another reason that I want to stop here, I don't even know if Walmart gets new releases, but I'm going to see if they have the Riley Sager book because this is my dilemma. So like I said, I ordered the pre-order like last, like months ago and um it shipped last well it shipped this week i guess and then it's gonna take a week to get here so i'm not only i'm getting it a week after the release date which i mean whatever canada shipping can just be slow like that so it's fine um but i also noticed when i saw the email for the shipping that it's for the paperback and i was like what i thought i was getting the hardback i don't know if i just didn't notice that or what but i really wanted the hardback because it's just a stunning cover and i have the hardback in the only one left which was the last one he released so i just wanted the hardback to kind of match that um it's funny because i used to only like paperbacks but now i kind of love hardbacks and i kind of blame book of the month for that because i've been reading a lot of hardbacks because uh because their books are all hard hardbacks but anyways but um um where was i oh yes so i was like okay whatever it's fine i'll just go to the bookstore get the hardback and then return the paperback when it arrives however for some reason our bookstore here we like literally only have one bookstore and for some reason they only have the paperback which is so bizarre usually when a book is released it's hardback and then later they'll release the paperback um so I just thought that was so weird that they're just not doing any hardbacks and I looked at all of the stock like for the whole like in Victorian stuff and everything too and no they only have the paperback which is I don't know why it's so bizarre but I know this because my boyfriend tried to stop after work and pick up the book for me and surprise me with it because he knew that I want this hardback one as well it's so silly I know this is like so just like frivolous and stupid but um yeah he said that that's what they said they have none so I'm like, okay, that's weird, but maybe I can find it somewhere else. But if I can't find it before my copy arrives, I'm just going to keep the paperback and I'll read that one. It's not that big of a deal, but I am low key. Like, I'm just going to keep my eye out when I'm out and about. So um, I don't even know if Walmart gets uh, new releases or not for their book section, but... I'm gonna check and I'm also gonna get some groceries. I'm probably gonna get most of the dry goods here. Like I know I need rice, cereal. Maybe I could even get like our milk here, depending which, um, if they have like a soy milk, I think that's what I want. And then yeah, snacky stuff like granola bars and coffee probably. <laughs> Mm-hmm.
Good morning. I just woke up about 20 minutes ago, fed the dogs, took them outside, made my coffee, and now, as promised, we are going to open up my mail that has been sitting around waiting for me to open it with you. The lighting is not very good in here right now, I apologize. The sun is like way, it hasn't hit where our yard is yet, it's like way behind the houses. We don't really get any east facing light. Why do I keep saying this? We don't really get, we don't have any east windows or like any, the east side of our property is completely blocked by massive trees and other houses and we don't have well actually we do have an east facing window in the office but it's just so blocked that we don't really get any east facing light very minimal very minimal <laughs> um and that's something that i miss random side tangent but i really do miss having east facing windows i mean i've only had that I haven't had that in very many places that I've lived, but when I have had that, it's so nice to have the sun streaming in in the morning. Mm, that's just such a cozy. I love mornings already. Mornings are my favorite time of day. I'm definitely a morning person, um, way more than a night person. So uh, yeah, I love the, the morning sun. Okay, Cadence wants to come up. You go. Okay, the dogs are all getting situated here. So I have four packages that we're gonna be going through this morning. I guess I will start with the smallest one. Can you guess what it is by the sound? <laughs> yep, it is seeds. Okay, I can explain. Um, so I saw, this is why email lists are really bad. Like, uh, if you don't wanna spend money, you need to unsubscribe from every email list, which is what I should be doing. But I also just love getting the emails, so whatever. So I saw that West Coast Seeds was having a sale on some of their things, like end of season kind of things. And one of those things was seed potatoes. And I was thinking that I wanted to start another round of seed potatoes just so that I could have two crops of them. I haven't been able to find seed potatoes in store anywhere. Like they're just all sold out already. Um, so I saw that they were 50% off and I was like, okay, maybe I should grab some more seed potatoes. So I did. And then of course I was browsing through some of the seeds that I've been looking at. And, um, cause I go on there every so often and I kind of like look at maybe what I, what else I want to try growing in the future. So I had some things that I had been eyeing and I will show you those right now. And a lot of these things are kind of like fall crops, like take me into fall kind of vibes. Um, so the first thing that I got is not very exciting because it's something that I already have and it's just these marigolds. I'm obsessed with these marigolds. I already have these. I've already planted a whole bunch this year, but I just wanted to have more just, just in case, just to be stocked up because I love these marigolds so much. They're honestly one of my favorite things that I have growing out there. They're so cheerful. They're so beautiful. I want them everywhere. And they're also good to deter like deer and stuff like that. So it's just a good thing for me to have around my yard anyways, because I do want to have, like I really need to clean up. Okay, so I have my garden inside the deer fence and then I, they, we have like a whole like flower section that the previous owner made on the other side of the yard and that has tons of perennials and like pretty trees and stuff like that and it's just a, it's a huge mess but i eventually want to have that looking nice and um obviously i don't want the deer to be going in there and eating everything so i just yeah i want to put marigolds some marigolds there i want to i could even put them in the front yard i don't know i'm just marigold crazy right now <laughs> which i did not see coming because i thought I don't know, I had never really cared about marigolds before. I was just like, yeah, whatever. I literally just got them for companion planting and because they were good to deter deer. But as soon as the blooms started opening, I was like, oh man, these look stunning. The pop of orange with all of the green and oh, they're just so, I love them so much. So long story short, I picked up some more marigolds. I was gonna get a different type, but um, the they're just sold out, so. I just got the same ones again because I've been happy with them and they've all germinated super well. I've actually been happy with everything that I planted. I heard some people saying, or I think I got a couple comments um, on earlier videos that West Coast Seeds doesn't have a good reputation for germination and they're not very good. 
but uh, everything has grown really well for me. Like I've had zero problems, so that's why I placed an order with them again. And I saw on our, I think our gardening face Facebook group the other day that I guess a few years ago, like for a while, the quality had really gone down and people were having a lot of issues. But <laughs> cadence, people were having a lot of issues, but now recently it's improved again. So I don't know what the heck is up with that, but my experience has been great. So. I'm just gonna keep keep rolling with it. Not that I won't try other seed brands. I'm just, I don't know, <laughs> just comfortable with these ones for now. Okay, next I got another type of green onion to try. <laughs> this is like literally, I don't know why this is so funny to me that I'm sitting in my living room doing a seed haul. This is what 32 looks like. Um, okay, so this is a different type of green onion. The ones that I have out there are called Ramrod. These are called Kincho. Um, I don't know. They had good reviews and I just wanted to try something different. I'm obsessed with green onions. The ones that I have growing out there right now are looking incredible, but I haven't harvested them yet. Oh my gosh, they're so big and plump and they just look a million times better than what you buy in the grocery store. So I'm so excited to eat those. And then next I got... A couple of different types of carrots so this is just like a rainbow blend and then these bolero f1 oh yeah these are just like kind of regular chunky orange ones um i basically just go off like i look at the reviews what people are saying about them and like what the description is whether it says that they're super hearty or whatever um I just wanted to try some carrots and one of the main reasons is because Olive is obsessed with carrots. So that's literally one of her favorite foods. As soon as I pull them out of the fridge, like the moment those hit the cutting board, she can be in the bedroom and I can be in the kitchen. The moment those hit the cutting board, she is running out. Okay, sorry, Cadence is barking and people are getting up now. People, my boyfriend's getting up now. That's the only other person that lives here. Um, anyways, I need to speed this up because I'm gonna talk about each of these seeds forever. Carrots. Um, Olive is obsessed with carrots. It's her favorite. I don't know if I would say her favorite food, but like her obviously her definitely her favorite vegetable. So I just thought it'd be cute to grow carrots and um, that also just sounds delicious for us as well. So I've heard that people have trouble growing carrots sometimes. So I don't know how it's gonna go for me, but I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, next we have cauliflower. This is a different type from the kind that I have growing right now. And my cauliflower is very, it's huge, massive, the leaves. There's no like cauliflower part yet, but um, I want to try another one because it's just something that I'm interested in growing. A cabbage. I just chose this random one because it sounded good and had good reviews. So I'm going to try that out. Broccoli very curious to try growing broccoli i've never done that before so that'll be fun and then this is i don't like when they don't have the photo on them that's kind of annoying this is um beets which i've also never grown before so that will be interesting some fun new things to try so i'm very excited about that i'll have to put those away in my seed organizer later it's downstairs right now. Okay, so next let's do just this little Amazon one that came last night. So I think I know what's in here. Yes. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're little highlighters, but they're like the really cute square um, pastel colored ones. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. I love these. Um, I see other creators use these, like Cups and Thoughts. That's one of my favorite channels on YouTube. I love her cozy content and she's always, um, she does a lot of like bookish content and she's always like annotating her books like really full throttle. I could never, but I love watching her do it. Um, and anyways, uh, I saw her with this type of highlighter. They're just so cute. And I love the colors, so I'm really excited to use these to highlight my books and even for my planner. Um, because I do like to highlight in my planner, or I used to, and I haven't really, I kind of fell off using my planner like for 
planning <laughs> or scheduling my days out and stuff but recently i've been getting back into it and i find that really helpful and um, i used to color code everything so at a glance i could just i mean that sounds dramatic like color code but i would literally just highlight things different colors and um it took like 30 seconds and just made it look so cute and made my day look even more organized so yeah i'm so excited to try these out they were super cheap too so really excited about that next book of the month this is my june box and you might notice it's looking smaller than the other boxes I've been getting recently. I said that I was gonna um, try to stop getting five book boxes and I did. I got a two book box this month. Although I am, oh yeah, I already opened this. I didn't open it, but um, it was just noisy in the kitchen for a few minutes. So I went and like pre-opened the packages that were opening. I do have a running list in my notes tab now of books that I hear people recommend that are also on book of the month. Um, so I can remember to like get them as add-ons or something. So who knows how many will be in my next box, but. For June I just got two and this is the first one at the top oh my gosh I love this cover this is so stunning this is so stunning oh my goodness I love this cover that's gorgeous okay so this is obviously Margot's Got Money Troubles by Rufy Thorpe I really was interested in this book just because it sounded like it explored a lot of just modern relatable topics so it says a bold laugh out loud funny and heartwarming story about one young woman's attempt to navigate adulthood new motherhood and her meager bank account in our increasingly online world and then down here it says blisteringly funny and filled with sharp insight margot's got money troubles is a tender tale starring an endearing young heroine who's struggling to wrest money and power from a world that has little interest in giving it to her it's a playful and honest examination of the art of storytelling and controlling your own narrative and an empowering portrait of coming into your own both online and off oh my gosh look at the author she looks like a badass Anyways, that just sounds so good. That makes me want to read it like right away. Really, really excited about this one. A little contemporary fiction moment. And then the next one I got, I think is actually historical fiction. Is it? I totally forget what this is about, but again, stunning cover. Oh my goodness. My picks for June, like the covers, 10 out of 10. Are you joking? Oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. So the second one that I got is The Lion Women of Tehran. Oh gosh, I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry. Oh yes. Okay, so this is from the author that wrote the book The Stationery Shop. And I haven't read The Stationery Shop yet. I don't know why I always do this. I have not read The Stationery The Stationery Shop yet, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to like it based on the reviews um and based on like, you know, the plot or the story or whatever. Um I have it on my Kobo, so I do hope to get to that at some point, but it just, it sounds so good and people love it. So um, this is by the same author of that, which really caught my eye. It says, from the nationally best-selling author of The Stationery Shop, a heartfelt epic new novel of friendship, betrayal, and redemption set against three transformative decades in Tehran, Iran. There's not really any small blurb that describes it any better than that, and I have no idea how I would summarize this, so... That's all I'm gonna say, but it's supposed to be, again, one of those emotional, sweeping stories, historical fiction, literary fiction, uh, probably be crying vibes. So yeah, stunning and can't wait to read this. Okay, y'all. Oh, and the bookmark. Oh, it's a longer bookmark that they're doing now. This is cute because then it can just, it's longer than their old bookmarks. And then this can just like stick out at the top of your book. That's so cute. Love that. 
I am loving this little bookish haul that we have here. Um, but we are going to switch gears into the last package, which, oh my goodness, you guys, this one is very, very exciting. I've had this now since for almost a week and I haven't opened it yet. So, oh man, I am so excited to do that right now. Oh boy. Okay. So what could this big box behold? Let's find out. Oh, oh my goodness. amazing okay you're joking me look at this oh my gosh this is the new mooncat powerpuff girls collab oh my goodness i have never had like a nice um like a fancy i've never bought like a whole i've never got like a whole collection in a fancy little box like this like this is so fun okay i'm gonna open it ready oh, oh my gosh <laughs> okay you guys get to see before i do check it out oh my goodness this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, how freaking nostalgic. It says, just in time, trying to save the world just got so much cuter because fresh from Professor Mooncat's subterranean lab, it's the perfect limited edition box set of six little lacquers and nail art stickers conjured in collaboration with Cartoon Network's The Powerpuff Girls. Look at these. Sorry, I'm shook right now. First of all, I still can't believe that I'm on Mooncat's PR list. This was sent to me by them early. The collection isn't even out yet. It will be out by the time this vlog goes up, obviously, or else I wouldn't be um, sharing it, but this is adorable. So these are all jelly, like sparkly jelly polishes, which I love jelly polishes. Um, so I just cannot wait to try all of these. Some of the ones that I'm most excited for, definitely the red. This one was just screaming to me. I don't want to wreck this packaging. I have to be so careful. Maybe I'll do it from the bottom. Oh, and I was supposed to redo my nails last night and I didn't because it was already like past 10 o'clock by the time I got into bed. So, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So this is called Forces of Evil and it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I actually currently have on uh, a jelly sparkly polish as well. That's the one I've been wearing for. I've been wearing this for 10 days now and it just peeled yesterday for the first time um, because I was out doing the garden stuff. That's when that happened. But otherwise it's held up like so well. This is just so, so cute. Another one I'm excited for is obviously the green. Oh my goodness gosh how fun this is called hardcore buttercup oh my goodness i am just so shook about this y'all and then the last one that i'll show you let's take a look at this one um this is the one that mooncat posted uh they posted a sneak peek the other day on their story and i was just in awe of it like seeing the actual you know polish oh my gosh this is so cool okay so this is called chemical x and it's a black jelly 
with like multicolor holographic glitters which is so insane and when they posted the sneak peek of this and what it looks like on nails and everything um i saw somebody comment that it looks like the floor of like an arcade in the 90s or you know that kind of vibe and immediately i was like yes that's exactly what this is giving it's reminding me of like roller world back in the day arcades like just very oh my gosh just so nostalgic so love everything about this so excited to try that black jelly glitter too i don't have anything like that so that's really cool and then they have these little nail stickers too how fun is that i am obviously shook speechless um so grateful to have this and so excited to have this so yeah i'll definitely update actually i'm gonna use i'll be using one of these colors tonight and i think i might go for the purple because i'm on a purple theme right now we'll talk about that later that's it that is all of my mail that i have been hoarding to open with y'all i need to get on with my day so i'll talk to you all later oh my god you guys i'm just cleaning this all up and i just grabbed my phone to look at something and it literally says that my new computer is getting delivered today which is insane because today's Thursday and originally it said it was gonna be delivered on Monday. So I am not mentally prepared, but oh my gosh, I'm also not physically prepared because I need uh, like an adapter, an SD card adapter. I guess I could just go to Best Buy and get that, but mm, maybe I'll order it on Amazon today. Um, I just haven't ordered it yet because I thought it wasn't coming until Monday, but now I need to get that because I need that to be able to edit on it and stuff, but oh my God. I can't believe it's coming today. That is so insane. Um, so I'll definitely vlog unboxing that and everything if it does come today, which it's supposed to come today. So She's here. This actually got here this morning. We're now at the end of the day. I had a bunch of stuff I had to do, um, finish editing a video, get a video up, post a reel. Um, I've got laundry going right now. I've been getting stuff done. And as you can see, I did not bother even getting ready today because to be quite honest, why would I? So um, I'm very excited to be sitting down and setting this up now. I wanted to make sure that I got it unboxed before it got too dark. We are running low on daylight at the minute, but I think that we have enough light to do a fun little unboxing. I am so excited to get this set up. Oh my goodness, I've just been envisioning what it's gonna look like here, so I can't wait to actually see it. I'm gonna give y'all the cozy ambiance with some nice music, but in real time, I also need some cozy ambiance for myself, so I'm gonna get that going. What do I want? What do I want here? There's so many good videos on YouTube right now. I swear everybody's been posting. I have so many videos to watch. Okay, let's just do... Actually, I had a cozy video. Okay, let's do this one. Lo-fi girl. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Hello from my bed and the monkeys. There's one monkey. Oh, she's very tired. She's very tired. And there's another monkey right there. That one is actually in my spot right now. It is currently, gosh, what time is it? Like 10 p.m., I think. And I just did the nail strengthener. Um... And now I'm about to paint my nails. While I was waiting for this to dry, I was just, I was watching YouTube for a little bit. And then I had to plan out a video that I'm going to be filming tomorrow. So I just did the outline for that. And now I'm going to, well, I'm going to get ready for bed first. I have to brush my teeth and stuff. And then I'm going to paint my nails with one of the new Powerpuff Girls shades. And I'm so excited. And it's actually going to be on theme because I'm going to do the purple. So, wow, this is not a flattering angle with the way the light is hitting right there. Okay, okay. These shadows are not giving. So, I wanted to make lavender coffee syrup today. I don't remember if I said that this morning. But that was one of the things that I really wanted to do this week. I was going to make this lavender syrup earlier today. And I was like, why don't I just make sure I have everything I need. And just prepare by watching a couple of just little tiktoks so i looked on tiktok and quickly found out that if you just make it with the lavender flowers it's not going to be the purple color it'll just be kind of clear and i was like oh so you need to use butterfly pea flower that's what's going to make it purple so i was like oh shoot i don't have that and i want it to be cute and purple obviously so I hopped onto Amazon because I was like, where the heck am I going to buy this? And I was like, maybe something will come in one day shipping. And I was literally 12 minutes within the window of ordering something for it to get here by tomorrow. So I ordered that right away and I'm hoping it's going to, like it should come tomorrow, but I mean, you never know. But hopefully it's going to come tomorrow and then I can make that lavender syrup. I need to take out my braids. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I meant to just have these braids in for last night and now they've been in for like two days. E. And I want to sleep with them out so that, um, okay, I'm losing my elastics now. 
so that my hair is not like super super like this is like really gonna be intense now oh i should have left them in for washing my face oh well it's very satisfying to take them out Hmm, front's kind of janky. <laughs> That's okay. I feel like I'm filming some kind of ASMR right now. Not a noise one, but you know the ones where they're just like doing something? Like playing with hair or something? Anyways, the mane has been unleashed. Look at that. It's actually not bad. Once I sleep on it and it gets a little less wild, then that'll be grand. Anyways, I'm gonna go get ready for, do all my washing up, get ready for bed, get my pajamas on, paint my nails, and then get into bed. I'll probably read a little bit just because my nails are gonna need to dry. And I will see y'all tomorrow. I'll show you my nails, my purple nails, get to be on the lavender theme. I get inspired by the most random things. Like last week I painted my nails this, oh, it's gone. I forgot I took it off the See Between Us color because I was obsessed with finishing, or not with finishing. I'd finished Our Wives Under the Sea and I was obsessed with it. Still am, but I was obsessed with it, so I did that ocean theme, and now I'm on this, like, lavender coffee kick right now, and I'm like, you know what? I need to put that on my nails, too. <laughs>
could smile What if the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars mm -hmm. 